Hello, everybody. Welcome. Who's Lowell Mason? <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit <laughs> Alex. Uh, uh, mm. uh, who will it be? Is my controller now? <laughs> Are you player one for some reason? Here, let me unplug. Okay, there we go. Soren, Soren wanted to know if we play Deltarune. She was like, I want, like, I'd be excited to hear what voices you would I do. I P U C. Choose a person with the select button. The select button. Why couldn't it be up and down again? <laughs> well, this guy has eyes, so I like him already. <laughs> Tim Allen. <laughs> uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yep. Clonk. Clonk. <laughs> uh, I loved sorry. him in, uh, <laughs> I loved him in the movie I shall Emperor's New one. Groove. <laughs> Fnart. And I shall now be this man. <laughs> Here are the categories. Quotes. Science. Nights. Musical theater. Government and politics. Fatty acid, salt made from boiling fats or oils with an alkali, often resisted by dirty children. Wait, what was the category? <laughs> Yay! Hey, there you go. I got a hundred duelers. Mm. <laughs> I'll take starts with L for 100, Alex. Daily double! A dance between the ground and a stick. <laughs> oh, 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 der. Where's the, where's the hard question? What is the limbo? This part of a map explains what all those squiggly lines and symbols mean. Uh, the... Damn it. I forgot I have to buzz in. <laughs> Why don't you read my mind, Alex? <laughs> you just scream out the answers. <laughs> what is legend? Eh, uh, what is the legend? <laughs> the son of a bitch. I'm right. Uh, starts with L for 300. You look like Bill Clinton. With one L, it's a Buddhist monk. With two, it's the largest South American member of the camel family. Uh, the, um, um... What is a llama? Oh, right. Well, this isn't funny. <laughs> a great place to hide away whether you're a lion or a pirate. Damn. Is... Does it happen oh, to be... Oh, starts with L? Oh, never mind. I would have been very wrong. Yay! <laughs> I would have been like, what is a den? And Alex would have just looked at me. <laughs> like... This survey says... Fucking yeah, Steve Harvey yeah. shows up just to give me sass. <laughs> the people of this Baltic country are known as Let's. Oh no, geography. Um. Um. Uh. 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 <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Letland. <laughs> what is Proust? Sad face. <laughs> Where even is the Baltic? <laughs> Latvia. Wait, I thought Latvia... I was gonna say Latvia, but my brain kept being like, no, that's Doctor Doom's country. Oh. Wow. <laughs> for 100, huh? Yasir Arafat. <laughs> yeah, we would've gotten that. In Maxims for Revolutionists, Shaw wrote, He who can does... He who cannot does this. Yes, yes. I... 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 Uh, I know this one, Alex. Hey. hey! I got the- I got so dollars. <laughs> this unit of animal power was first- <coughs> It's not what. Horse? Hey, Coda. Aw. It wasn't horse? It wasn't horse. Birds. <laughs> Birdy. <laughs> what is birds? Aw. Fucking eat my dick. 
Wow, Alex Trebek is being a real stickler today. <laughs> what is horse? No, in fact, it was horse power. The fiddler on the roof is fiddling on a roof in this country. I remember it. It was clearly in... <laughs> Stanistan. <laughs> Stanistan. <laughs> Don't answer in the chat. <laughs> oh no, you owe Alex money. What is Israel? Oh. Is it Russia? It's <laughs> Russia. Uh... Canada. <laughs> Stan is Stan. <laughs> um, <laughs> King of Thailand. Uh, this is probably wrong too. Might even be culturally insensitive. <laughs> I don't. Arabia? I don't think that's culturally insensitive. I have no idea. It used to be Arabia. Nope. Oh, it's Siam. C Siam. Siamigans. It was clearly the classic. <laughs> K okay, boys in bondage. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that musical. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, you're no fun anymore. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> the truce of God in the early 11th century prohibited fighting on this day of the week. Um. Would it happen to be Splores Day? <laughs> Soon day. Yay! And there you go. <laughs> You're catching up. Now I lay me down to this. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Dang it. I was pressing the button. Should be like Uno where there's a button to say what is. <laughs> Deer in the headlights expression. Don Marquis. This is Archie and Mahitabel. <laughs> Is that what the town crier does? Me hit a bell? <laughs> Age of- God damn it. Of alpha, beta, or gamma pay rays, these penetrate the farthest. I mean, because the Hulk. Surely he penetrates the Wait, farthest. What are gamma rays? Yay! Hey. I'm climbing up in the world. It takes 60% majority vote to end one of these talkathons in the U.S. Senate. Mm. Yay! You are correct! <laughs> Does your character smile? I didn't see. <laughs> I'm not sure I could tell if he did. First three cabinet departments were state, war, and this. State, war, and... <laughs> Party! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what is defense? Defense! Who? Who? Defense! Um, it's the thing that's on the, that lines your uh, property line. Oh, really? Oh, treasury. Right, because money. You have to have money before you can have defense. When a president is tried before the Senate, this individual presides. Um. Oprah. <laughs> the majority leader, I think? The majority leader? Dang. Who is the queen? Because <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Chief Justice. I couldn't okay. think of it. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Zoology for 200. Ah! Why is he? Hell! <laughs> Their name for the frigate bird or a Portuguese jellyfish. Uh, why are we in hell? <laughs> <laughs> because that's where we'll go if we don't get more than zero dollars. Alright, time to learn something. What is a man of war? Yay! Some people coddle this before putting it in a Caesar salad, but others like it raw. <laughs> Alex? <laughs> Damn. Egg. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> Some folks call it sparrowgrass. Some people call it Maurice. Wow, wow. <laughs> Milkweed? Either, or crabgrass? Is that food, though? No. 
I mean, you can eat milkweed. Can you? You can eat anything you want to eat. <laughs> you can eat if you want to. You can leave your guts behind. You can shit your pants. Sparrow goose. <laughs> really? Sparrow grass, though? I uh, guess... Food for 600. Sp asparagus? Sparrow grass? Oh, that's dumb. <laughs> sure is. Guinness says the longest of these ever made contained 20,000 bananas and three and a half tons of ice cream. Damn. Banananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananan
Oh, my mommy. <laughs> and also, Bruce Willis was married to him. Don't you remember that? Not anymore. Don't you remember that scene in Decent Proposal where Jack Nicholas like, uncrosses his legs and reveals his dick? <laughs> hey, look, it's a daily double. Why is there two? David and Elizabeth Emanuel became world famous as designers of her wedding gown. It could be literally anybody. <laughs> Who is some bench? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, Princess D. Princess Di. D. Is it D or Die? Wait, so does that mean if somebody is really interested in marrying Princess Diana? He really wants the D. <laughs> oh no. Nobody knows this actress. <laughs> Nobody knows anybody in Wizard of Oz except for that one chick. That's a terrible name. <laughs> Billy Be Bird. ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Be ashamed of yourself for the name that you didn't choose. <laughs> South America, let's go. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Icy mountain streams in Peru are the source of the Amazon, which flows into this ocean. Uh... Oh, damn. There are really only so many game possibilities. There's like two. Two. I'm gonna pick one, and it's gonna be completely wrong. <laughs> They're gonna be like, why didn't you say the other one? I'm like, I don't know. If you accidentally type Atlanta, I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> what is the Atlantic? And if you tell me, if you tell me that the answer was the Atlantic Ocean, I swear to God, I will travel in time to kick you in the balls, oh. Trebek. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> The answer is actually the Pacific, but he was like, oh no, my balls. <laughs> when Juan Peron returned to the presidency of this country in 1973, his wife was elected VP. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> and go. Yay! You did it. If you're watching a music video in Montevideo, you're in this country's capital. Uruguay. <laughs> Uruguay! <laughs> Douche. <laughs> Country is capitalized closest to the line of zero degrees latitude. Uh... <clears throat> oh. Fuck off. Oh, equator. Get it? Equator? I don't think. Equator? <laughs> I'm 100% sure that's why they called it that. <laughs> Fuck off, Braxton. <laughs> <laughs> Braganz is my new favorite term for titties. <laughs> Braganz. A royal family ruled in Portugal and this South American country. Uh, Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Germany. What is Brazil? Hey! Zero dollars! Very nice. Oh, my voice. <laughs> He was in analysis in Annie Hall and has been in real life for more than 30 years. I'm presuming I know what the question means. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Psychiatry? <laughs> yeah. I feel that can't be it. If that's it, I'm gonna yell. <laughs> MD. Okay. Do you think it would have yelled at you if you put in <laughs> medical degree in it, in its entirety? Or is it going to be an ass and be like, Oh no, the answer was MD. <laughs> Alex! <laughs> Alright. Freud first wrote of this complex in The Interpretation of Dreams, published in 1899. <laughs> I don't know. Yay, you know how to spell it. Oedipus. What a pussy. Hey, I tied oh, right at wow. the end. Wow. Final category is 1970, 1976. Oh, you all in. Sarah Caldwell became the first woman to conduct at this New York City Opera House. Shit. That's not an opera house. <laughs> it oh, does right. describe it's opera, though. Shit. <laughs> the NYC. Opera house. <laughs> you know what? All in, all in. 
Uh, I'm gonna say the Apollo. No, that's not, that's not, that's not a opera house. Fuck. Um, the Plantagenet, which I totally know how to spell. <laughs> Start spelling plantation, realize you're doing a bad and spell something else. <laughs> what is the... Oh, Metropolitan. Metropolitan. Sads. Pew. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me see if <laughs> Jeopardy is a tie. A tie of shame. <laughs> oh, it's Plantagenet. And we do not cover any of your expenses on the way here or on the way back, so uh you lost money on this ende- endeavor. Was that you was that a really stupid answer? <laughs> Might have been really stupid. <laughs> like Alex afterwards, like the what? <laughs> what is the Hapingus Theater? <laughs> what is that place downtown? That answer was about on par with <laughs> answering Moe's Diner. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever do play Delta Room, I call Rousey's voice. A Rousey voice is gonna be like this. This is Rousey. Egypt. Myth. <laughs> I thought Egypt was real. Yeah, me too. Mary had a lamb. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll take Mary had a lamb for a hundred, Alex. It was against the rules for the lamb to go here. You are correct. Hooray. I promise, I swear an oath with my left hands that we will play Delta Rune. Once all the chapters are released. Because I am not digging into a game until I know I'm going to get to the end. In the 1830s, Lowell Mason set the poem to this. To a specific song? What poem? Who's Lowell Mason? (laughs) When was the 1830s? Are you fucking serious? (laughs) I thought I wanted a specific song. Yeah. Uh, Confusion. Uh, Massachusetts. Huh. Huh. This is the episode of Jeopardy where we sit here like idiots. <laughs> she wrote the poem, or at least its last three verses. What the hell are these questions? Are we. Do you want her? Do you want the poem? Sarah Joseph Hale. What? Those questions were nonsense. That, that one was pretty straightforward. Just wanted you to know who allegedly wrote the poem. What poem? Oh. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take fashion. Your intermission can't save you from the shame. If <laughs> you went all through fashion and then you're like, no, this question's made any sense. What did you want? <laughs> what, like, what are you talking about? P- things people wear. Fashion. Oh. <laughs> the answer is Egypt. Myth. Many copies of this book have been found in Egyptian tombs, but not one of them is complete. The, uh. Her- book of the Dead. Oh. <laughs> that actually crossed my mind at the one second mark. This sun god, the main god of ancient Egypt, became the official deity of the pharaohs. Uh. Uh. Who was Ra? Yay! Ants use these appendages to touch, taste, and smell. Oh, come on, man. I had my controller down. Ant and I. Yay! Hooray, we're tied! Because it feeds by using its long snout, the cotton destroyer is also called a snoot beetle. (laughs) Snout beetle. (laughs) Um... Wait, what's the question? Bull weevil. I didn't see a question in there! (laughs) It's not a question, it's an answer. It's an answer that is in the form... Is a question in the form of an answer and an answer in the form of a question. It the point is, I didn't know what it was asking for. <laughs> served by the Indians at the first Thanksgiving, this food exploded when cooked. Damn it. 
Yes. Or would it be maize? Popcorn? Yay! <laughs> Indeed. Ew. An important product of Hawaii that Luther Burbank called the perfect nut. <laughs> <laughs> I had the perfect nut the other night. Hand jobs. Mac Macaroon. <laughs> Yay! Yay! This twice baked hard toasted bread is a long lasting treat for tots. Pop tarts? <laughs> That's not Pop Tarts! This is Weebuk. <laughs> okay. Turn of the century women were soft wore soft felt ones called trilbies named for Svengali songstress. Now the question is, do they want fedoras or hats? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna take this. Because I wanna know if it's just hats. It was indeed just hats. <laughs> okay, that fedora's hats thing, I feel like that's one of those circumstances where Alex would go to the judges. I just got YouTubed. There was no human being assessing whether my answer was correct. Pierre Cardin helped this designer create his new look. Shrug. <laughs> Big shrug. Christian Dior. <laughs> Life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness are called this type of right. Human right? Oh. Wait, is it, is it inalienable or inalienable? <laughs> Shrug. I guess this? Because you don't want to inalienate your wiener. Hey! Jefferson included a section condemning this practice, but Congress red-penciled it. Oh wait, Jefferson. Shit. I was gonna I was gonna say slavery, but then I was like, oh wait, Jefferson. Unslavery. <laughs> violins. <laughs> I shall never play violins again. No Are you slavery. fucking serious? Eat shit, Jefferson. Jefferson liked the violin and he was not cool with slavery. He had slaves, but he hated it. <laughs> I condemn slavery. It's pretty sweet though. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. I condemn slavery the way other people do it. I'm a cool slave <laughs> All right Hey daily double Nobody take any of those statements out of context. No clips. <laughs> <laughs> I will wager 300 Slavery is wrong. Now make me a like the Constitution tomorrow. the beginning of the declaration is usually called its uh, time to bust out all of our schoolhouse rock right now. <laughs> Yay! He's the he referred to over and over again in the declaration. Oh. Uh, shit. God. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, King George, right. First signer who went on to become president. Do, 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 do. If it's Washington, I'm going to lose my mind. Yes. You're correct! Horace, the life <coughs> is sometimes depicted holding this cross-like symbol of... Amp. Um. <laughs> Alright, time to go to hell. The 12 divisions of a horoscope are known as known by this homey name. Signs. Really? Houses. Really? Oh, cause homes. Oh, ha ha ha. Get the but dogs. I've never heard anybody call them houses. Yeah. Like, it's the it's the horoscope, not Game of Thrones. <laughs> Third sign is zodiac, but is symbolized by two figures. Uh oh, he's thinking outside the box. Damn it! It's but it's two symbols. I think you're thinking of, you're thinking of the symbols as opposed to the. Because cancer is a crap. The prophecies of this most widely read astrologer of the Renaissance are still read today. Oh, you got it. Nostril. Damn. I'm a Virgo. Us. Yay! Virgo. I got my money back. <laughs> wow, what a haul. The 1989 drought in this country caused dry fields in Tuscany and low water levels in Venice. If this isn't Italy, I'm gonna shit. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Yeah, it's just real oddball, like, Antarctica. What? <laughs> Yay. 
<laughs> That's not a country, it's a continent. <laughs> Alex, you're back. Shut your hole. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Weather for 600. <laughs> Why have you gotten every daily double? All in, baby. Oh boy, here we go. They heat the air in their paths to over 45 million degrees Fahrenheit. Lightning bolts. If it's like something like lightning strikes, I'm gonna be peeved. <laughs> yes! Dude, score. Oh, You're gonna have 800. to be real fucking stupid at this point to lose. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> the only place... Canada! <laughs> The only place I can think of in the U.S. that gets this shitty. <laughs> that cold. That's incorrect. Damn. My money. <laughs> uh. Kansas. Alaska. Oh, Damn son it. of a bitch. <laughs> I could have had more. I'm an idiot. See one of these. You must stand facing falling rain with your back to the sun. A cow. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> That's not weather! Yes. This covers four-fifths of the land and is an average of one mile thick. I... Uh, what, what is the Ides of March? <laughs> what is ice? What is... What, what, what are the right. Ides of Canada? <laughs> <laughs> Around 985 AD, this Viking brought a group of settlers to the island. Uh, uh... Uh, hold on, hold on. What if it is... Leave me alone. Leif Erikson. Damn! Hinga ding a ding! Snarl, <laughs> Eric the Red. Oh. Hey, you got a hey, daily double! I got double. a daily double for, finally. I'll wager a thousand. The 1951 treaty gave this alliance a major role in the defense of Greenland. Yes! Yeah! Woo! Money! Uh, hot benches. <laughs> <laughs> he got sidetracked in Greenland. No nice. one escapes Greenland. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. The truce of God in the early 11th century prohibited fighting on this day of the week. Damn it. <laughs> Is it the same questions? And now it's memory challenge. <laughs> Who will it be? It's just random at this point. Yes. No, <laughs> you have so many monies. <laughs> Imagine if you were the winner and you came back next week to play and it was all the same questions. <laughs> uh, ah. Yay, it's me this time. <laughs> yeah. Yay. I have a chance to catch up. Uh, who will it be? Yes. No. <laughs> oh, hey, celebrity marriage. Cool. Let's try to remember these. So Oscar winner married two actresses, Dixie Lee and Catherine Grant. I don't actually remember this Me one. Me neither. Bruce Willis is married to this star of A Few Good Men and An Indecent Proposal. Boop. I remember this one. Always check your spelling. Demi Moore. Demi, more like Demi Less, am I right? Zing. <laughs> was the widow of Florence Ziegfeld when she played the witch in The Wizard of Oz. Fuck, I can't remember. Damn it. Uh, her name was something I remember explicitly something saying her name she... was stupid. <laughs> it was something. Oh, it was uh, Billy, Billy Burke. Burke. As soon as you said that, I remembered. Detroit DJ Russ Gibb and his fans discovered musical clues to this Beatles' death in '69. Oh no! Is it McCartney or McCartney? Um, you're right. <sighs> Dr. Johnny Fever and Venus Flytrap were president or were resident DJs in this CBS sitcom in Cincinnati. I'm confused. WKRP. W crap. Well, you won. Well, I guess we have final Jeopardy. Final category is dictionary abbreviations. Kierp, it is your turn. Now, to be fair, uh, I'm not going to look at your answer because that's how it works in the actual show. All in! <laughs> it's the fruity abbreviation for figure or figurative. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's your turn for final Jeopardy. Oh, I don't know how much you wagered. I went all in. Oh, that's right, you screamed it. <laughs> um, I will wager 10. It's the fruity abbreviation for figure or figurative. What? What? <laughs> Gay? <laughs> <laughs> I 
power stones in my boat. I'm gonna lose my mind if you don't get this. <laughs> oh, wait, is it is it fig? Cause figs are a fruit. Yay! Phew! I almost looked like a colossal moron. You're right! Here's your ten. Yay. <laughs> Gurmp? You're right! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the score, go on vacation. What do they do in Jeopardy if it's a tie? Uh, they hand them both a knife and they say, There can only be one! <laughs> I feel like I redeemed myself pretty hardcore after the first abysmal. <laughs> <laughs>